Hello everyone and welcome back to Cunningham Garage. I'm Steve and you join me here in downtown Knoxville. In the last video, I showed you that I was getting rid of my old car. I told you I was trading it in. Well, in this video, I told you that I was going to show you the new car. It's It's been a while. been very busy, got caught up in a lot of stuff. But I have gotten the car. I've had it for since that day. <laughs> so I've had it for about a month now. Uh, put a few thousand miles on now, so it's I'm gonna show it to you. It's pretty dirty, but let's just get to that. This this right here is my brand new to me. Well, it is brand new. I bought it with zero miles. A 2020 Toyota Corolla. It's the SE model, so it doesn't have the bigger wheels because there's quite a few things I'll explain. I got the SE. They have an XSE, which has got the 18-inch wheels and some leather bits inside and some other stuff but i didn't get that because i figured i was going to be changing these wheels out so i didn't pay for that because what's the point and yes this is the manual six speed model there is an automatic cvt and there is a six speed manual version of course i went with the six speed because why would you go with the automatic when you can drive a manual plus it's just better well, I'm going to walk you around it. I got it in the fun blue. I think they call it flame blue. You'll have to excuse the loud motorcycles. So, it's got a bunch of cool features. I'll go inside and everything. I will tell you now, the car is filthy because it's been on the road. I've actually taken a few road trips with it. When I ordered this, when I bought the car, I got it with the optional TRD wing. So this wing doesn't usually come on the car in the SE model. It's just a, the only part that's there is this section. And the car looks really sad without the wing. So I paid extra to have the wing put on because I'd rather have the factory put it on than me. Awesome taillights. And it does, the only part I'll, I hate about the car, well, there's a few things I don't like, but I'll go over that, but one is those exhaust pipes. They're fake. The real exhaust is around the middle somewhere. And that's just, why? Why would you do that? So, but let me look, let me show you inside real quick. This is my daily driver now. And it is filthy inside already. So I got the SE model, which means I got cloth. But I thought about ahead because Toyota's cloth interior, interiors usually last way better than the leather does. Plus, if you look up these cars, the, S, the XSE leather ones, this outer trim here and down here is leather. This is still a cloth, but it's like a light, almost white color in some, in some cars. I wanted all black interior, so that's why I had to order this model. So six speed car is completely filthy and then here is the gauge cluster it's very very neat little car touch screen navigation well it doesn't have navigation i didn't i didn't pay for the navigation because this car has android auto so i can just plug my phone up and use google maps which is just better and let's go ahead and shut the door I'll show you the back seat. I mean, it's got... That's my driving position. There's still a decent amount of room. It's not a huge car. I didn't buy this to have 10 people in it. If I want 10 people in my car, I'll drive my four-door Tundra and load everybody in. This is for me to drive to work and on little road trips. Yeah, I got a pile of mass. Don't worry about it. You, you know what's going on. So, the trunk... Like I told you... <laughs> I've been using this car for all kinds of stuff in a road trip for a different project I'll show you soon. So it's full of batteries and coolant and jacks and crap. Hey, at least you know this all fits in the trunk of a new Corolla. I did throw a blanket down, that way I wouldn't screw anything up. But it's actually got a pretty decent sized trunk. In the hatch part, it's got a little protector to cover up everything when the door... When this is shut, that covers up everything. So that's cool. That way you can't see 
what you're hiding in there. So it's an awesome little car. So far, I love it. Uh, gets amazing gas mileage. It says it's supposed to get oh, the high 30s in gas mileage. But I mean, while you're driving, it has a little meter that shows your average the whole day. I mean, I'm averaging like almost 40 <laughs> with, a, with a manual. So it's amazing. Let's go back around to the front. You know what? I'll pop the hood for you. It's not much to see. Hood latch. Okay. Sorry if it's a little windy out here. Uh, Ta-da. Just, yeah. Basic little engine. It's a two liter inline four. To, what is it, 168 horsepower so it's not it's not exactly the peppiest thing ever but I'd rather have a slow little fun car like this than something that's overpowered and tries to kill me as a daily I have other cars that'll do that I do need to change these wheels they're god awful <laughs> so tell me what you guys think put in the comments what do you think about the car I've already had friends giving me crap about the blue color. <laughs> I thought it was different because so far the ones I have seen have been just basic colors. I think everyone's afraid to be a little different. So I just said, screw it and ordered the blue. <laughs> um, yeah, if you meet me in person, I'm a very quiet person. I'm very reserved, but when I get into one of my cars or one of my motorcycles, as you've seen them, I'm, I'm an attention whore. Yeah, yep. Uh, but I'm a terrified person. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of the car. Put it in the comments. Do you think I should have gotten the big, better model? Which also I forgot. The upgraded model from this, the XSE, it has an amazing gauge cluster that I tried to upgrade just a gauge cluster and they told me I couldn't do it. So if I keep the car for a few years, I guarantee that if I find a wrecked one, I could probably swap out the gauge cluster and everything would plug right in. Because I Toyota's always been good about that as far as they they put everything the same in every car. So whatever is in this model will fit on this model. I hope. <laughs> we'll see one day. Uh, if I have the car that long. But let me know what you guys think. Awesome choice or did I screw it up and buy something like just crap? So far I think I made a good choice. Uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, welcome and subscribe now and catch up with everything I've been doing. And I, I, I got to get caught up on a lot of other stuff. Got to get caught up on uh, projects that I haven't shown you guys. I've got a lot of stuff done on them. And, well, I'm going to get to the next video and show you guys. So, till next time, I will see you later.